once you've written down your class code, it's now time to get your kid online to play Prodigy. Click on Play Prodigy. Log in. And of course, new student. This is where they enter their class code. Once they get that little check mark, they can click Next. They're going to enter their first and last name or their first name and last initial, whatever they're good with. Then they're going to enter a password. Uh, let's see, something that would be remembered easily for my son is the name of his dog. This is a great time to talk to your child about good passwords, bad passwords, and why you should never give your passwords out to your friends. What grade are you in? Choose a grade. What does your wizard look like? And choose a wizard. They can do all kinds of funky things over here. What is your wizard's name? They choose a name. Here's your login information. Then what's really important to do is to write down their username, which is right here, and their password. Why would you do this? Because they'll forget the first few times, and you shouldn't be typing it in. It's a really a skill that all kids need to have. It has them type it in. Alright, let's see. Hunter, oh, 149. See, even adults mess up and have to go back and look at it again. Okay, see, only took me four times. Great way to model for our kids how not to get frustrated and throw your computer out a window. So, go ahead and click update because I'm adding this to my class. And I'm added to my class. Your advisor, if they're working with Prodigy, can also add your student to their class so that they can track your student's success. So in this game, your student can win toys. There are opportunities for in-app purchases. I never let my student do that. He just knows mommy's not going to pay for that. So next time what I'll do is I'll show you the uh, reporting features where you can see how your child's doing.